You may have seen signs posted outside businesses in Boise either encouraging you to wear a mask or requiring you to wear one. These signs reinforce the city's public health order requiring everyone to wear a mask in public where social distancing is not possible. But we still see people every day choosing not to wear masks in some of these places despite the mayor's order and the business's request. So the question is, what are the consequences of not wearing a mask and does a business have the right to refuse service? Chase Biefeld has been looking into this today. Hi, Chase. Hey, Tammy. Well, I want to start, I want to preface this story with a little personal experience I had yesterday at the grocery store. I was in the checkout line with my food and the man next to me was wearing a mask. He was in the line next to me and then a couple without a mask on came behind him and that's when the man with the mask lost it. He started going off on employees, on the couple not wearing a mask, about how this couple got in and did all of their shopping, got to the, got to the end of the line, and no one asked them to leave when there were clearly signs outside of the store that said face masks are required. Now, I've got the public health emergency order right here that Mayor McLean put into effect on July 2nd, and it's, it requires people in public places, indoors and outdoors, to be socially distanced and wearing a mask. Now, a business is technically privately owned, so where does that put the enforcement of this order inside a business? Well, it's actually up to the business, and does, <laughs> do they have the right to refuse service to anybody not wearing a mask? I brought in David Leroy, who's the former attorney general here in Idaho, to help us out with this. Does a business have the right to refuse service if you're not wearing a mask? Short answer, yes. Ever heard no shirt, no shoes, no service? It's not much of an extension to include no mask, no service in Boise, and that is lawful. A private business can choose to serve who they please, with a couple of exceptions. We don't permit uh, in many uh, endeavors discrimination on the basis of race or sex. So what about the flip side of this, your rights? People have argued the mask order goes against their constitutional rights. Take the protesters burning masks last Friday in front of City Hall as an example. So the people not wearing masks now, will they get in trouble? The theoretical penalty in Idaho right now in certain areas, including Boise City, is six months in jail and a thousand dollar fine if enforced. Civil disobedience is choosing to defy the law, but also being willing to accept the consequences. One could argue that not wearing a mask is a sign of civil disobedience, but the governor would suggest it's also a sign of human disrespect. Here's the bottom line for private businesses and citizens. Business owners are free to, of course, take their own position, uh, but generally speaking, uh, it's probably better to respect the law uh, than to disrespect it. Not to wear a mask in public. Uh, just know that if you go into a business, they can refuse you service. But Mayor McLean's order states that if you choose not to wear a mask in public when you're within six feet of others, you could face a misdemeanor charge. And in the state of Idaho, that could be up to $1,000 jail time, six months of it, or both. Tammy. Okay. Thank you, Chase, for that.